my name is Agnes Kerabo. I come from Uganda. I work for Food Rights Alliance in back home in Uganda. And uh, we are working to say that the world is free from hunger and malnutrition. And therefore, land is a primary factor of production for food. That is our biggest motivation to come here. Uh, land in Uganda uh, is uh, largely owned by the few. And unfortunately, not many of these are actually farmers. Most smallholder farmers do not own land, and they are so constrained when they wish to pursue their ownership and uh, access and use the rights. So the subject of uh, winning the fight against the corruption in the land sector speaks to the heart of the issue. But in our own perspective as Food Rights Alliance, we think that uh, the issue of corruption in the land sector in Africa and in Uganda is not an issue of the absence of law or the absence of policy or the institution. But for us, we have a feeling and an experience that Africa and Uganda's land sector is overgoverned. There are so, so many institutions, there are so many laws, there are so many regulations, and they are parallel and conflicting, making the whole issue of access to land services, access to justice, very, very complicated. And once the system is so complicated, if it becomes a, uh, a spaghetti bowel, then it's a bleeding stock for corruption. Therefore, it is not an issue of the absence of law. It is actually the complexities within law and conflicting institutions and structures that are actually making the poor very vulnerable. The second thing is, as we are talking about winning the war on corruption in the land sector in Africa, we need to understand that corruption is an aspect of power. If we are not willing to speak to power, if you are not willing to check power, if you are not willing to question power, then we are talking to ourselves. Actually, the issue of power plus the issue of the complexities and conflicting laws, policies and institutions, it is just a haven of corruption. And either I get the power and get the land services or get justice, or if I do not have the power, I have to find means and buy power to get the services and the justice that I want. But how many people in Africa can do that anyway? Not so many.